Hi friends, my name is Shelly. Welcome to my channel, Oh My Ada. Today is Sunday and it is April 18th, 2021. And this is my floss tube 25. 25. Thank you for coming back. I've been getting new subscribers. I expect maybe a few of you are coming over from StitchCon and the list that Stephanie made because I'm going to StitchCon. I'm excited. I was scheduled to go last year, so I've been on the wait list, and I chose A. I wanted to go to StitchCon A, and I, I, was, I was anxious, let's put it that way, because... Now there are two stitch cons, and which stitch con do I go to when I want to meet so many people? Well, I chose A, stitch con A. And stitch con A is the weekend of the 10th, June 10th. And I went online and looked, and I, I believe the 10th is Thursday. I'm not looking at a calendar right now. If I'm wrong, my apologies. But I think the 10th is a Thursday, and when I went to the StitchCon page, or the StitchCon website, it says that the stitching room will be open on Thursday. It won't have the same hours as the other days, but I'm like, well, I want to fly in early. I want to get in, in as much stitching time as possible, so I'm going to fly in on Wednesday. I'll get there about 6. Um, maybe run to the store, pick up a few items because I'm staying at the live-in and they have kitchenettes. They also have breakfast and so I'm extremely happy with that. I booked my flight today and when I booked it, that's when I called back the live-in because I planned on going on the 10th, but the live-in had a room available on the 9th. So that's why I decided to go in early. Yeah. And the stitch room is going to be open late on Sunday. I was surprised. So I got a flight out around 7 p.m., 6.40 p.m. So I'm making the most of my trip to Ohio. I want to go and I want to be. And so I'm really excited. Yesterday I got online and I purchased some mill hill kits because I've been wondering what am I going to stitch and I don't want to take this project because it's on 40 count. I don't want to take this project. It's too complicated. I need my magnifier. I need this. I need that. So ultimately what I decided is I'm going to take a couple mill hill kits. Does that show my stitching process? No. Do I need to? No. So I'm okay with that. And then I also know all the tables. They're going to be stitching tables, right? That's what I've heard. It's my first time. So if you've been before, let me know if I'm getting any of the information wrong. And give me a thumbs up. And maybe if you're new, um, subscribe to the channel. All of that would be awesome. And maybe we could do a Zoom meetup if anyone's interested. Or a couple Zoom meetups before we even get to StitchCon. Handy, I know you're watching. Um, I, I, I sent you a message today. Um, so I'm really looking forward to meeting you. I did see Carolyn Zook, C. Zook Stitch. That's her YouTube channel, but it's C, the letter C, C. Zook Stitch. Um, she's on the list to go. I know it's contingent on where she is in the house hunting process, but yay. She did put out a video today. Um, and maybe in that video it'll say if she's going to A or B. And um, if you're not going to StitchCon, maybe 
you want to fast forward this section? I don't know, because now I'm just babbling it all about all the people I hope to meet. Um, the Sunshine Stitchers will be there, EJ, Gary, and Shelia. I know that Dina Half Stitch Cross Stitch will be there. I know that Brenda Handwork Maniac will be there. Kyle Stitching and Sound. Now the last two, I don't know if they'll be at A or B because it doesn't say that. It just says, um, Lost Tubers, tell the viewers which one you're going to. And um, I know Stacy is on the list. Stacy nine um, nine one one Stitcher, and Candy is the six one four Stitcher. I know Janet Jabber's going to A. I watched her, and we I uh, congratulated her. The Still City Stitchers are going. I don't know if they're going to A or B, um, but you could go to Stitch hyphen con dot com and you the the link has all of the youtubers that are going to be there i'm near the end because they're alphabetical by first name which is fine i'm good with that um i don't need to be up front and center all right so um i think i'm gonna make bags project bags for my table mates and, um, you know, I can show you, if you're new, I can show you what I made for the monthly, ma the magazine monthly cross stitch challenge group. I give away one bag a month in the group. And this is the bag. This is the beautiful bag that I made for April. I'm going to send this off next week. Let me tell you, I got so swamped with work. It's crazy. Um, essays and all grade papers. And then all of a sudden students decide, oh, I have a zero alternative. Hello. That takes like double the work and sometimes triple because I give them zeros twice and then, oh, okay, I'll do it again. Kids. Um, but we procrastinate as adults as well. So what are you going to do? While it, I have to cut out the patterns on the floor. So as I was crawling around on the floor, I decided I was going to finish. I called, yeah, this one is for April. In case I got it wrong, this is for April. And then, um, this is the May bag. And I really, really like this bag, too. Um, I'm directionally challenged. And I cut the fabric wrong. So I did an up and down bag like this, which I've been wanting to do. I'm like, well, why don't I do one like a, you know, this size of a magazine? And you just pop your magazine in there. I do think that this one's going to be more difficult to get your stuff um, from the bottom. But there's a front and there's a back. And I just, I love both of the patterns I made this time and I don't always love everything that I do. So I, and then like I said, I make two, one for me and one to give away on the magazine monthly cross stitch challenge group. And it, typically I link everything below so that you can find it. All right. So I talked about StitchCon. I did welcome you. And um, I talked about the bags. I don't sell them. I'm sorry. I'm not that good of a seamstress. And um, yes, there's some value in the bag, but I don't think that I'm advanced enough. To want to sell them. Plus, you heard me say I'm crawling around on the floor cutting out the fabric, and it's not comfortable, it's not fun. So, I'm not even equipped with this space. I live in a 800 square foot condo, it's one bedroom, and you know, when I turn around, I can bump myself. <laughs> it's that tiny. Did you see how quickly 
the Black Needle Society box, their Halloween Advent box, blew. It blew. Yeah, I think they were sold out midday on the first day. Um, did you get one? I hope if you wanted one that you were able to get one. I know right now I'm still interested in, um, I want to get the pattern for the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe for the cross-stitching book club. And that's really been on my radar as to what I want. But when I see something sell out that quickly, I'm always curious. Hmm, what am I missing out on? But let me tell you what. I did get the Winter Solstice box from Be Stitch Me. I absolutely loved it everything in it. It was an excellent product, well worth the price. But the USPS, not Brandy, the United States Postal Service, delivered it a month later than everyone. And so, yes, I got it, but that kind of, you know, took some of the fun out of it. I was seeing everybody, well, not everyone, but I was seeing people on Floss Tube doing their unboxings, and I'm like, where's mine? I want mine. You know, it finally came, and like I said, everything in there. Brandy does a top-notch job, and if you're thinking about getting a box, I would recommend be Stitch Me. Also, Stitchy Box, I did sign up for their coffee box, and that's supposed to have shipped. I haven't received a shipping notice, so um, they do have till the end of the month, I think, but I'm pretty sure it was an April box, and I finished paying for it. Um, I went into, oh, that was, that's going back. I, I know Stitchy Box has some of their boxes for sale that they haven't sold out of. And I did go to the vault on the Black Needle Society, and they have some of their leftover products from boxes on sale there as well. They had a really cute wallet. Um, I didn't get it, and that's on me. But a lot of times I think I need to get something because other people have it. And my life is just fine without buying another toy or another product or another prize. So um, if you've got or if you've received a box, I'd love to know what what box you received or what box you're looking forward to. And um, maybe you can leave me a little note um, in or below. I love chatting with people. Did you know, I have it written down, the Pattern Queens, Athena and Katie, they are part of the team that does the Black Needle Society. And um, I didn't know that. And I just stumbled across the Pattern Queens a month ago. So I've been watching them and they're a great floss tube. I would recommend them. All right. Um, if I like the products in the coffee box that's coming up. Stitchy Box does have a Christmas box. And I do like Christmas. To, I love stitching Christmas. And so if Stitchy Box and the, co the coffee box, um, if I really like it, I'll go ahead and get the Christmas one as well. Um, hopefully the U United States Postal, Postal Service has their act together before um, December of 2021, but you never know what's going to happen. All right. So you might not be going to StitchCon, but are you going to participate in um, 24 Hours of Cross Stitch? That's next weekend for me, and of course, Shelly didn't write down the dates. I'm Shelly, um, but you can look it up on the calendar. Oh, well, I could look it up too, I suppose, but now I don't know where my phone is. So, oh, um, that's okay, you can look it up. 
Uh, it's the last weekend in April. I know that because the following weekend I get my infusion. And today is the 18th. So add seven. I, um, I was going to wait, but I can show it to you now because it's not something I'm working on. Um, this is the only project I like to work on for 24 hours of cross stitch. I did put it on my lip go board. And this is Eloise. I love her so much. Now, the last time I worked on it, I was right here in the, I'm not trying to flip you off, but I was getting the fluff right under the head. And so everything above my, <laughs> sorry about that, the head and the hat, all of that I did the last time I stitched. And I like to stitch the outlines and then go back and fill in. That's just um, the way I like to stitch. This is um, Joyful Teddy by Joan Elliott. I won this from Dina Half Stitch Cross Stitch when she finished it. And it's on a 20 count, two over one, silver white fabric from 123 Stitch. And I just love it. So um, I haven't done any of the beading, but this is the heaviest part of the project. And then there's a border around it. And I am looking forward to getting this done because I'm probably going to give it to my mom. Um, in case you haven't seen I didn't take it out of the plastic. I can do that. It'll take quite a moment. I really would like to give this to my mom. It's just such a precious chart. And I think she'll like it. My parents and I, we decided last year, we are, well, we've known we're adults. But we don't like buying each other Christmas gifts. We never know what to get anyone. So we'll get each other stocking stuffers. So I can give her this for Christmas. And then I can frame it for her for her birthday. And yes, it's, you know, you and I know the value of the pattern, the, the finished product. But it... it I can give that to her and then I can frame it for her and spend that money for her birthday. And then she'll have this. And I just, I really love the pattern, like I said. And that's what I'll be working on for 24 hours of cross stitch. I definitely want to fill in the hat, the face, and then in one of the hands, um, the sleeve isn't quite done. And I named the bear Eloise. Eloise is holding a bird. I still need to do that. If I get all of that done, I will start on the window border. And that's my goal for 24 hours of cross stitch. Whatever I can get done in 24 hours. Last time I did some zoom, but I really didn't get any stitching done when I had zoom on. So none of that. I'm serious about stitching. All right. Um, I haven't talked about Ymir from Almond M&M's in a while. Well, in a while, that would be. Um, that would have been the last time. But, um, well, there we go. I did drop the floss. So we found a floss together that we both, that she liked. And wouldn't you know it, it fell out and I don't know where it is. So um, I'm not gonna be able to show that. The one I chose to you and I just had it, which is annoying. But let me put it up against the blue fabric. I think you'll enjoy the way it looks. That a 
movie or it doesn't have to be perfect. But I can't say enough nice things about Ymir and um, her fabric, I mean, I'm sorry, her hand dyed silk. She has a website and just go to the website and you can order or you can ask uh, her about her other color options and she'll work with you to come up with a color that fits what you want. And I asked her for a solid color for the Long Dog Sampler Pandemic. And I told her I was going to use this blue color from Picture This Plus. I'm pretty sure the name is Mystic. Um, and it's 28 count. I'm going to stitch one over one. And she sent three... Uh, sample flosses. One has the blue and then there's some green and yellow. And then of course yellow and blue makes green. So this is yellow and green. But the one that I was going to show you, the one that I chose, um, it's white, blue, and yellow. And the reason I went with variegated floss instead of the solid color is because the color she came up with, I like. Um, but I wasn't sure how I'd like a full blue on blue stitch. or And I thought yellow would be overpowering. So I, I asked her if she wouldn't mind doing a variegated Although the entire time we'd been talking, I was adamant that it'd be solid. But I think it's okay to change your mind, right? And look at this. Don't these two, doesn't this silk and this bag just go together? I think I'm going to have to send this silk uh, to my bag winner because it's so perfect together. And Ymir, I love everything you do. And um, you're awesome, and you're an awesome friend. I'm really, I need, we need to talk, because I'm really interested in what you and Jacob have going with your legacy project. And um, that's exciting, right? I know you're, you're wanting to get started on that. So that was page one. So much excitement. And I already did half of page two because page two was all about StitchCon. Um, is StitchCon something you're interested in? I believe truly, actually, that Facebook is my demographic. We're a group of people coming together to enjoy a hobby from, I'm going to assume all parts of the United States but we're not exclusive. We're not excluding anyone. Everyone's invited. So if you're traveling in from another country, ooh, even better. So um, yeah, hit me up if you're at StitchCon. Another, um, another group that I'm in is Jessie Marie's WIPCO. And the two projects that were pulled one is Greyfriar Sampler from Rosewood Manor, and this came out in 2019. I have two goals. Um, the one that was pulled for Whipco was to finish my flowers, and I only have, I can't do the whole thing. <laughs> I'm struggling. I only needed to finish the flowers right here. I even had this huge motif done. So I was able to finish the flowers here and I was able to put in three rows for the basket. So I'm pretty excited about that. The next time Greyfriar Sampler will be called, I'll put in this half of the alphabet over here. Because except for the basket, this border, and the alphabet, I'll be done. 
I can be done with this in the next few days. Well, few days? Who am I kidding? The next few times. So there we go. I've even taken the time to iron because I feel like it is a way to show my appreciation to you that you're coming to see my projects. That being said, I did not, um, I did not even take the next one out of the hoop because I didn't get to it yet. What I believe, um, put that in the mass in the chart. Um, I just didn't get to it because I've been doing so much other stitching. I'm not. I'm not sure you'll be able to see. Nope. Yeah, I am just, you can see, <laughs> you can see the other side of my condo. I'm not good with showing you. There we go. You can kind oh, there you go. Look at that. This is a design, Gingerbread Lighthouse by Shannon Christine. And it's one that I fell in love with. And I started it for Magazine Monthly Challenge, and it's in a book, uh, let's see, Ultimate Cross Stitch Specials, September 12th, 2020. Now, she also has a train, a gingerbread train. It's coming up. For some reason, it's slow. There we go. She also has this gingerbread train. I wish I could give you a better view of it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It looks like moving it back instead of moving it forward and giving it a little tilt is what's helping. Uh, I know it's not the greatest view, but it's it's also a Shannon Christine, and it's in one of the Ultimate Cross Stitch books. I can look. Um, the train is August 15th, 2020, and they're the, again, it's the Ultimate Cross, <coughs> bless me, it's the Ultimate Cross Stitch group. Um, but if you don't want to buy the magazines, they are for sale on Shannon Christine's website. Now, I purchased Readly, and it's a $10 a month subscription, and I get digital, as many digital downloads as I can stand um, on my tablet, and then I just bookmark from there. And there are, um, there's the world of cross stitch and just cross stitch. And if we only got those two, we'd still be saving money. But there are a lot of other magazines in here, too. And I use some of the recipes and the knitting. They have crochet. So if you're into other crafts, you can look at those magazines on here as well. So it is quite a bargain. Of course, you don't own the book. And I'm okay with that. Because I don't have enough room to store all of it. So, um, I did not take this out of the hoop because I haven't stitched it. But this is where I ended with the last time I worked on the Gingerbread Lighthouse. This is the pattern all the way to the right. And I'm working bottom right to upper left. Yeah, bottom right to upper left. I do like it. There is going to be chronic and beating. And this is a bee stitch me pattern. Um, I'm sorry, a bee stitch me fabric. But I got it from the Friday Night Fight Night. And it's not named. All right, no name. Now, I told, so, oh, that's my second one. And I need to put 15 hours of that into my WIPCO to be done for... April. And I'm I'm caught up on every single one except the free space. And I know the pattern I'm going to do 
um, because I said a Hardanger project start and finish and that's for the free space and I'm going to get my peeps and magazine monthly challenge to work with me on it because many of them said they were interested and it's a bookmark and I have Hardanger so I'm ready to go with that. I did mention to you that I'm looking forward to um, What am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe um, pattern. But this is where I'm at with the secret garden. It's just so precious. So precious. I'm over halfway done. There are mistakes in here. But can you hear my tummy? Sorry. Um, these are... These birds are precious. It's just a wonderful pattern, and I look forward to finishing it. This is another um, Be Stitch Me fabric by Brandy, but again, it's an unnamed fabric from the Friday Night Fight Night. And ultimately, I stopped buying fabric from the Fight Night because um, yes, the fabric is there to buy, but if there's a color you absolutely love, you just ask Brandy and she'll dye it for you. And I'd rather do that than try to jump in and buy something I probably don't want. All right. I am on a roll. Can you tell I got a lot of stitching done um, over the past month? My next one is the... Um, stitch along with linen and threads and this is the 2020 stitch along if you want this pattern i recommend that you go um, download it it's absolutely free linen it's on the linen and threads website my tummy's making noises maybe it's just agreeing with me um Go to the Linen and Threads website and you'll see a tab for stitch alongs and download the patterns because uh, whoever does this, I don't know a person's name, I think Brandon, but that's probably wrong. They've been uh, removing them, the uh, past ones. So if you want this Quaker pattern, go get it. Isn't it fabulous? I'm going to put, oops, I'm going to put where it, where I um, was last time I showed it right over here. I like having this space here blank for um, where I'm at and where I was. I've done two motifs since I've seen you last. One can't get it this bottom corner and this humongous if I can get there sorry I'm going to be battling that for a long time to come but this gargantuan one right here but I loved it if you haven't stitched this one yet it's hard to stitch because it's not all on one page but it's the ornament of the month and if you go to the ornament page, they have this whole pattern. They have this whole pattern on one page. So that is how I stitched it. And um, I'm coming along. As you can tell, I'm almost done. And just, um, I was keeping this stitch along in mind when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for LDS, Long Dog Samplers pandemic because uh, personally, and I know we all have different um, opinions, personally I don't think I choose where to put and change color very well. Um, and now that I'm almost at the end, I'm like, oh, what do I do? Where do I put it? Where do I choose? And so um, that's why I was thinking about a single color. But I'm happy with 
the variegated that Ymir is making for me. Let me show you this. I'm really happy with this. Oh my goodness. I think I probably <laughs> put it too close to the top, but um, I told you last time that this is for my dad. It's One Nation by Bygone Stitches. I love this pattern. And uh, the lines, the red and white lines down at the bottom that I have in, they're not showing up very strong. And the reason that is, is because when I have a long line of stitches that has to match up, what I do is I do a half stitch. Well, I do one stitch and I cross that stitch for every 10th one. And that helps me count and make sure I'm staying even with the other stitches. And I even did it up here with this box right here. And then I went back in and I filled in all the blue lines. And then I started the flowers. Um, Janet Jabber's system is she does one flower and one state a week. I'm pretty sure a week. And um, I told you that Joyful Teddy is for my mom. This One Nation Bygone Stitches, this stitch is going to be for my dad. I don't remember the fabric I'm using, but I write everything down on the card. This is from Sylvia Ward. And um, she is on Etsy. And this is a 36 count vintage country mocha. And if you haven't seen the pattern, I will take it out of the plastic for you because I don't want the glare. I think the biggest obstacle I struggle with when I film is keeping the glare from hitting my glasses. And it took me 20 minutes to get everything set up and filming the way I was happy with it. And my ring light's over here, and um, I don't have a problem with that. One Nation Bygone Stitches, it's going to be lovely. Um, and although my dad says cross stitch is worthless and a waste of time, and he's such a big supporter of the things that I do, I know that he will appreciate it and I made sure it was something he likes. I keep this project in my Pam bag, and this is a bag that I made from, for Pam specifically. Hmm. Interesting. It fits, but it's a tight fit. Um, I'll be working on this on and off throughout now, and I would like to give it to my dad the stitching for Christmas, but the framing for his birthday. And my dad's birthday is December 23rd, and so it fits perfectly. And my mom's birthday is January 4th. And so, so what if I give it to him a little bit early, right? That's a good thing. Well, it looks like I'm getting to the bottom of my stack. Um, I do have my Halloween bag. And I, I think before I do the Halloween, because that's what the giveaway, I do want to show you what I started working on yesterday and today. I do not, I'm not taking it out of the snap um, because I just put it in last night and I am going to get new magnets to hold all the fabric. Um, I don't have really great ones yet. I had some that worked and for some reason I'd taken them to my dad. Oh no, I gave one to my dad and I had one 
And he was like, oh, these are great. I'm going to use these when I do this, this, and this. And so I took the other bag over to him, and that left me with a bag of small ones. So um, good job, Shelly. But, you know, my dad's 80. If he wants something I have, I'm going to give it to him. This is, and I'll put a picture right here as I move the, okay, I'm trying to get it over. So I don't, oh, well, this is going to be easy. I'm going to put the picture of just when I think I have it all down. Mm -mm. But I know that you'll be great. You'll give me grace. You'll grant me grace. Um, I know you can't tell this project. This is Mini Autumn Magic by Randall Spring Spangler, Heaven and Earth Designs. Did you buy anything? Last week there was a, a Hade sale, Heaven and Earth Design. And I looked. And I added a few things to my wish list. Typically, I add minis, and I'm looking for minis because there's so many hay that I want to stitch that I don't have time for a full size. And the mini makes me happy, so why not? If ever there's a time where I fall in love with the pattern 100%, I'll definitely maybe do a full size. But I don't feel cheated out of a mini at all. Um, and this is the first time I was stitching a hay using Pattern Keeper. And Saturday it took me about two hours to set up and mark what I'd already stitched. It was only 1%. I mean, it, it was like a tiny, oh, you saw how much I'm trying to describe you already saw and then um, now that I've marked off what I already completed all I have to do is mark off as I go and I do park but I use EJ's method and I do a full half stitch and then I come up in the top um, right hand corner and then I let it dangle so that I only have one hole to go in and it's easy to see where that one string, where that one goes. You just finish your X. And I do like that. And if you haven't tried Pattern Keeper, I do recommend it. I love it. Um, I like searching for a symbol and then being able to fill in the two or three and then go park it. And um, I didn't use it before because I had an iPad. That's my coffee pot telling me that the two hours are up. Um, so I didn't buy a Samsung until there was a Black Friday sale. I knew I wanted one, but I was waiting. And um, I'm happy with it. I do recommend it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. I really don't need your attention. I know you're already here. Um, last time, I asked people to vote which pattern I should do next. And I had Kitten Bixby, When Black Cats Prowl. And I had this trick or treat by Imaginatum. And I asked people to vote uh, which one I should do for my Dark 13 stitching. And you'd be surprised. I got three comments that only two people voted. And one person voted for When Black Cats Prowl. And one person mentioned the eyes and the hat and voted for the Imaginating chart. I was leaning towards this one. I really was. But let me show you which one I'm stitching. It's right here. Good grief. 
I do have it in a bag. <laughs> I'm sorry if you have, um, I'm sorry if you have earbuds in and the rustling is bothering you. This is the pattern I started. I Heart You to Death by Silver Creek Samplers. And this is how far I got. I got the hood. Yep, yeah, I just really got the hood and a few of the shoulders. And this pattern and this pattern I bought these both from Mad for Minders. You can see her right here. It's an Etsy store. And I knew I wanted this one. And these are both 2020 releases. No, nope. these are both 2021 releases. I love you to death and better believe it. And so, of course, I got both of these. And when you go to Mad for Minders, um, hello, you got to buy some needle minders. And I bought three. Um, you can see uh, from where you're sitting, you're not sitting anywhere, from your view, you can see my light. And what I do with my light is instead of putting my needle minder on my um, project, I put my needle minders on the metal part here. And I have my needle minders across from me so I can see. But these are the two needle minders I picked up from Mad for Minders. And right here I have the... Um, This one here, that's a pattern I have, Mad Hat, and I showed it to you before, so um, I really wanted this one, but I also love the Cheshire Cat, uh, and when I was on, which website? I have it written down. I was on a website because Hade had a sell, and then there was one other group that had to sell. It doesn't matter. And it was buy two, get two free. I didn't find four that I wanted, so I didn't get any. Look at that. That's my third. I think that's so adorable. And there's a pattern for it. I don't know that I'm going to do the pattern, but for some reason, I love stitching coffee mugs. I love collecting coffee mugs. Um, I've, if this is your first time joining me in my work life, I'm a pirate because I teach at a high school and the mascot is pirates. So I like having things with the pirate theme as well. Um, I don't go out of my way to find them, but whatever. So we're at the end of my um, the end of my project or the end of my floss tube. And remember, I was giving away, let's see if I can get it correct. I was giving away this chart. And all you had to do was put in chat which chart I should replace it with. And there were two people that entered, and I have their name written down. I'll uh, say their names because what it, and the number I gave them. So, um, Mary Cat Stitches, I gave you number one, and Rhonda Wise, you're number two. And I'm going to ask Siri to pick a number between one and two, and you'll be able to hear if you won. Siri, choose a number between one and two. The answer is one. The answer is one. So that means Mary Cat Stitches. Go ahead and 
email me at ohmyada at gmail.com and I will get this pattern out to you. Um, and this is from Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts and uh, Kristen is our um, designer for Stitching Book Club. And so uh, I think it's a great chart and you'll be happy with it. That brings me to my close and I miss you already. Every FFO begins with a single stitch, so don't be discouraged or feel overwhelmed by a project because every stitch gets you closer to your FFO goal. Take care, everyone.